right here while they're getting ready. Amen. Please, please don't do me that way. Amen. But uh, I tell you what, it's uh, we, we count it an honor to be able to come to Trinity Baptist Church. Once you know we love this church, always have loved this church. God's people. Man, I'm glad to be in this thing with you all. Y'all encouragement to me. I want you to know that. And, and, and I appreciate this church. I uh, appreciate these men of God that's just been here. And, and God's just blessed the work. And it's, it's evident. Amen. I'm glad to be in on something that's eternal. Amen. Something that's good. And I remember I was talking to Delbert there via phone there. And uh, man, we just, uh, it, it just, you know, the Lord said uh, that it's a great, great honor and a great privilege to be able to come together in unity. He wrote that in the book of Psalms. He says, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Man, I'm telling you what, I love locking shoulder to shoulder and arm in arm, raising the bloodstained banner and watching the devils of hell just flee because they can't do nothing with the blood, amen. I'm glad the power's not of me, it's all of him. All I gotta do is lift the name of Jesus. So we're going to do that tonight, and uh, man, the devil, he done been trying to fight us, but we won anyway. We, we, got, we learned this new song, and we're getting ready to do here, and um, the printer wouldn't print. So anyway, I said, man, get your phones out. So please, please look over the young people. That's, that's my fault, amen. I, I said, I'll send it to your phone, so they're not up here texting, amen, <laughs> but anyway. We're up here in the name of Jesus, amen. Showing the devil we can use that good technology for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. You pray for us as we sing this song.
Hallelujah. We got through that. I was nervous myself. Amen. <laughs> but anyway, um, man, I'm, I tell you what, uh, I don't know about you. I don't know if you're here tonight and you're messed up in religion. I growed up in religion, if I can say it that way. Um, you know, my parents done the best they could do, but I wasn't raised in a Christian home. But they took me to church, and I'm pretty, I, I bet they thought they had a Christian home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Folks, folks, what I'm trying to say is, folks, the Word of God is, if, if it ain't a part of your life and it ain't part of your every decision, yeah. man, you may be walking in religion tonight and you may be without the Lord Jesus Christ and that's dangerous. Do you know that? Very dangerous. The Lord himself said, not everyone that said, Lord, Lord, shall enter in. Amen. Man, there's a lot of people out there. I mean, even the rich young ruler came to him and, and man said, man, I've kept the commandments. He was a commandment keeper. And man, he left sadly. And folks, I, I say all that to say this. You say, well, wait a minute. I thought all that's good, man. The commandments are the greatest thing in the world. That's what taught me. I'm a sinner going to hell. And, my, and, and the commandment said, man, but there's a savior right there. His name's Jesus. And man, I've been trusting him and enjoying every minute of every hour of every day. No matter what. Amen. Amen. So we're going to sing this song here. The book of Peter says this. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. It says, Wherefore, rather, brethren, give diligence. Make your calling at election sure. Folks, I, I'm, I'm saying there's a lot of people. Put, they rubber stamp Jesus on everything. And y'all seeing it. People call certain kind of music, Christian music. They try to call these things churches and they're not. I'm just telling you, man, if it ain't backed and supported by the Word of God, and, and I don't know everybody. I don't know where you're from. I mean, I'm sure there's visitors here. You got to be born again. You absolutely must not join a church, not memorize the Bible. I'm saying born again. So we're going to sing this song, Do You Know Where You Will Go? Because you're leaving here. Amen. I say that with a smile. I can't wait till I get out of here. Amen. I've never been this close. I'm serious. Some of you is counting down the days of Christmas. It's getting closer, but I'm getting closer to heaven. Amen. I've never been this close. We ought to be getting more excited. The church ought to be on fire. Amen. But folks, listen. I say all this. I've probably spent six years of my life cried in church one time. New Haven Baptist Church, where's that? First time I ever met Brother Dilbert Terry. We was down there at a big meeting. Remember that big meeting? I don't even know when year that was, but man, God swept through that place, amen? But I'm telling you folks, I spent six years of my life, I cried in church one time. I told my mom, I said, I think I got saved. I said it right, think. <laughs> I didn't know I got saved. I mean, I just, I, I had an experience and the power of God's all around, but I never repented of my sin. And I, I, I didn't believe. I just knew something happened. You know what I'm saying? Right. Folks, just make sure you got biblical salvations all masked. Yeah. Yeah. Eternity's a long time. Yeah. You pray for us, we sing this song, okay? Yeah.
Christmas.